All right, our first problem here is asking us what are the values of a, b, c in the quadratic equation negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0, where a, b, c are the coefficients of x squared, x to the power of 1, and x to the power of 0, respectively. So I have here, so this here is question 1. And we have this quadratic equation. We have negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. And what they want to know is we want to know what the a, b, c, uh, are, where we want to know the values of a, b, c in the quadratic equation um, based off the coefficients of x squared, x to the power of 1, and x to the power of 0. So uh, what we can do here is we can actually generalize our quadratic equation. And a general form of our quadratic equation is the following. So we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And this here is, our, is, our, is the format for our general equation. So we have some type of second degree um, term here plus some type of uh, first degree term here. Um, and then you can call this a constant term, or you can actually say that this is x to the power of 0. Because if you think about this problem in terms of a, b, and c, and in terms of these coefficients here, we can actually rewrite this guy into, this is going to equal also ax squared plus bx also to the power of 1, to the power of 1. Um, and in this case, because x here is also x to the power of 1, right? So I'm just rewriting this here. And c here you can think of it as multiplying by x to the power of 0. And we know that anything to the power of 0 is simply just 1, right? So it doesn't change our c value here. It's still a constant. And this term also equals this term as well. And again, this x to the power of 0 equals 1, so this does not affect the constant term here. So now all we have to do is look at our uh, quadratic equation that's given to us and see what terms fit in this guy here. So. Um, again, we have negative 2 beside x squared, so which means a here has to equal uh, negative 2. Um, we have 4x here besides, uh, um, we have 4 here for b, according to this template here, because we have the x value here, or you can think of it as x to the power of 1, and then we have our b value here, so it's going to have to be a positive 4, so this b here will equal 4. And finally, c here is going to have to equal negative 3 because that's going to be our constant term. And we again, we don't see the x to the power of 0 because x to the power of 0 is simply just 1. But we can say here c is going to equal this negative 3 term here. So a, b, c um, are these coefficients here. Negative 2, 4, and oh, sorry, negative 2. a equals negative 2, b equals positive 4, and c here equals negative 3. So this here is our solution, which is the correct solution. So this solution is correct.